channel my name is crab queen and today i am going to start a new kit and um what you see already is what i collect already um so yeah you can see i am gonna do the graphic 45 love notes and i'm gonna use the 8x8 paper pack and the love note collection journaling and ephemera cards the 4x6 and the 3x4 Ephemera cards are included. I just could not resist getting those cards with this collection. I just love it. All right, so let's get started. So what I get, what I have. So this is what I have. I get some ribbons, some metallic pieces, some charms. I tried out my new cutting machine. I do have now a portrait silhouette. Um, so I tried it out and I have some playing around with it. So I have some uh, ephemeras um, and some word stickers made. And we have some chipboard and this time the chipboard is already pre-cut for you. Um, so that is convenient for you. I made my two... Uh, background stripes. I made this myself with my computer and my printer. Printed it out. Um, I have to say first I tried out to print it uh, on white but that does not is not not comparing nice with these papers. So I used a cream color background papers. Um, so that is what I'm going to use too. I'm going to use some book binders linen. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to use that cream color paper. Now, these papers are normally 12 by 12. But, of course, I'm going to uh, make those kits fitting in a mailbox box. These, so it's easier to ship to you. So I need to cut this down, but it's still the size we need. So, And these strips we can use for nice photo mats. Alright, so that is the base what I'm going to use. So let's see. And of course I did make a tryout. Otherwise I could not cut the chipboard pieces. So yeah, let's see what we are going to make with that. Now for me today is the first day filming after two weeks not crafting upstairs or filming or everything so for me it's the first day after two weeks holiday christmas and new year's holiday everybody is back to school work or whatever obligations they are going to so yeah finally i have my home back for myself and that means that i'm gonna film because i can't film if anyone is at home i just can't they make too much noise hate that i'm distracted by that i need to call <laughs> all right but that does not mean that i did not craft i did craft but then downstairs so that was for me the perfect um excuse for me to make a tryout and of course i made a tryout and um it's not fi completely finished but um we are going to make a fold file fold album mini album so yeah that is what we are going to do ah so excited so let's get started with me and um i hope you enjoy this um i hope you enjoy the kit i hope you enjoy crafting with me so let's get started okay so what we are going to make is this um file fold yeah i don't know if this, this is not an album album has pages but i'm just going to call it a folio album all right so um we can open this up with this closure and then you open this up and then you can fold it open again and you can fold it open again and that means that we have four nice pages to create so i'm not going to show you the pages but First, we're going to make the cover. And um, so that is what we're going to start with. Um, I made a nice um, charm on the side. 
very nice with some uh, music notes and a violin and a heart and so that is very cute so but first we're going to start with the cover art so what we need what we need is we are needing three of these pages and we are going to attach these now if you have a close look to these there is a a bit darker side and a lighter side now i have to confess that when i was downstairs crafting in my living room i have not this many light so for me that was not easy to see but if you have a good light, you will definitely see the, the difference between those. I prefer using the lighter one, but if you prefer using the dark color, the dark side, then please be my guest using the dark side. But I'm going to use that lighter one. So I'm going to attach these on each other using score tape. Okay, so I'm going to apply the score tape from top to bottom oh that does not cut nicely all right well, let's remove that where was my pickup let's use this one okay i'm gonna attach these on each other and the tape will be my guideline there we go now I can attach the second one also right away so let's do that let's apply another piece of tape now let's see oh yep now it does it peel it off and let's apply another piece. Okay, now let's grab our pieces. And, um, oh, for those who does not have this kit, of course, we need some measurements. I'm gonna give you that. Let me measure this for you. Okay, grab your pen and pencil, what we need on the chipboard is 8 one fourth by 6 one fourth inches or in centimeters that's 21 by 15.8 centimeters this piece we need four times okay you got it yeah then we have the side that's 218 by eight one fourth inches and in centimeters that's 5.3 by 21 centimeters one time and then the little pieces they are one inch by eight one fourth or two and a half by 21 centimeters two times oh yeah you got it you got it you got it okay well, let's get started now the meaning is that we start with this have a small one have a big one then the big spine then move it up a big one small spine big one that's what we are going to apply all right so i'm just going to start right here i hope i am getting in frame let's zoom out a bit yep that's better all right so i'm just going to apply this um what's the easiest way the easiest way is of course wet glue or tape whatever you go whatever you like using now well, let me see where is my wet glue well i'm just going to use this one i can't see my other one with the wet noses all right so let's use this one so 
See, a long time no use. <laughs> Let's see if it's awake. Wakey, wakey. Oh, yeah, it's awake. Perhaps that is a little bumpy in the way. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah, here it is. This is better. This is better. All right, now stay away at least two to three, no, three to four millimeters away. Keep away, guys. Keep away, 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 away. At least one eighth, but um, yeah, for me, that is three. Three millimeters, but normally I prefer four. But perhaps a three sixteen is better. But I think this is wide enough. But stay away, stay away. I think the next one I'm gonna make it a little wider. And the reason why we are making this wider is that your paper, this paper, is not cracking. Now, you know me, I like to use my bookbinder linen uh, on the spines and I'm going to do that again to prevent tearing this off. But if you leave this gap wide enough, then your paper should not crack. But yeah, sometimes it it does. Okay. That's why I always like to put something on the spine. Even even I am far enough. I just don't want any of that possibilities to crack my spine because yeah you put a lot of work in it guys so be sure you have some material to prevent that downstairs and I think hmm why is that because everybody's gone but I still have two dogs <laughs> and I have to say um, on my table in my living room there are six chairs and each chair has some wheels on the bottom and my dog loves to lay down on those chairs and I just did my laundry this morning and then I like to use my table and my chairs. <laughs> Normally my chairs are under the table so my dog can't get up. But if he like he may, but when the chairs are under the table he just can't. And I remembered now that I did not put back one chair because there was the laundry on. <laughs> and I hear a noise and, it, and I think, hmm, what is that? And immediately I think, oh, I think that's my dog 
climbing on that chair because when he jumps on that chair <laughs> the chair moves on because the wheels are under it so <laughs> oh so perhaps he now is uh, way in the middle of the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the living room so that is possible because i hear a noise he is bumping on each other on something <laughs> okay that was my chit chat over about my dog <laughs> So now this one is a bit too long, so we can cut this down. Um, you can use your scissor, you can use a knife, whatever. You can use your um, cutting machine, still you can use that, so you don't have to throw that away. Okay, now I'm gonna cut down the corners. I'm just going to eyeball, but I like to keep a little away from the corner. So stay a bit away. Do the same thing on this side. Stay away. Stay a little away. And that does not have to be that much, just two, two millimeters was long enough. Okay, so now this is pretty large, so it's very hard for me to show you it all in one, so I can't. But the meaning is, of course, the same as an album. We are going to bend this completely to the front. Now you can use your bone folder to make a little line and then bend. I like to bend it first before I put my glue on. tape or you can use glue whatever you like to use you can use all the way till the end I'm gonna put a one piece of double-sided tape and then I'm gonna add some glue against the chipboard and to the top yep then I'm start in the middle working to the sides that's done I like to go at my bone folder and this piece to give it a nice extra touch that is holding down the papers okay what I also like to do is be gentle to do this but still if the glue is wet I like to push that paper on that chipboard see how it nice flat this out see that I like that but be gentle because the glue is still a bit wet but that's the perfect way to make that perfectly chipboard web around. But be gentle. Yeah, okay. That's that. Okay, let's do that same thing on this side. 
Okay, well we have both sides. Both. I hate that word. <laughs> okay, when we have each side done, then I like to go around the corner just like that. Same here. Go around the corner. Again, I'm going to use some tape. You can use your bone folder to push that nicely against the side. Again, use some glue. And then just fold it in. There we go. And let's do that same thing on the other side. Okay, and when that other side is done, then it's done. Okay, so you can, no I don't, yeah, you can push this nicely in those grooves see, that's one, do exactly the same on here, on the other side fold it Fold it. Now here we have our next piece. So be sure that that tape went perfectly. Okay, so that next one. And then of course on this side too. See, so that paper goes nicely in that groove. And that is why if you put these two too close to each other, then this paper has no room to getting in there. That is why. Okay, so then the base is done nicely. Cool. See, that's it. That's it, guys. That's exactly the same as that one. So cool. Okay, so now we can... Uh, put some paper on the outside uh, But I'm gonna do that together with you. Yes, the next step before I put some paper on is of course We're going to apply some book binders linen Now what we can do is we can measure This piece because I Don't want to overlap this so this is Eight three sixteen. Okay, so that is what I'm gonna cut with my piece of book binder linen. You also can put this right here on the place you want it, and then make a mark. That's also a possibility. That's just what you prefer using. Okay, so let me cut this first. Oh, I have a color. Okay, that was just advertising. Okay, so I'm gonna... Well, you know what I do? I think I'm gonna cut this each time. Okay. Um, how much do I want this overlap? Well, I want to overlap this um, one inch. So that means, well, I think three inch is perfectly. Three, three and three is six. And then I have enough for this piece right here. Three and three six and then I have five, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna cut 
these at I'm gonna cut these at well three one fourth or eight centimeters. That's the first one. And the next one and then the last one is enough for this one. So that will be well five inches is wide enough okay that's cool now i'm gonna turn this over put this below and then i'm gonna make that mark and then I'm going to cut it, if I see that mark. Yes. Alright, and then I'm going to add tape. Tape, tape, wherever you are. Okay, the tape is gone. Oh, it's here. Some tape on all the way. And then inside. I'm gonna do one with you together and then the other two it's the same so the other two you can do by yourself hi chicky day and then you're going to peel this off Last one. Okay. Yes. Now what I like to do is add a bit extra glue just to be sure. Just to be sure. Especially on the edges. You want to be sure. Okay, and then I'm just going to start at the bottom. And then the rest will follow. Nothing this pine can tear apart. Alright, so I'm gonna do that the same thing on the other two. Okay. Okay, so then the base is ready. And um, yeah, so let's prepare our paper. So what I 
like to do is um, pulling out all of these. But I always think that these pads are so good glued together that I prefer using cutting these out because you see right here I'm getting off. So that is why I prefer cutting these off. And I'm just going to cut in the middle. Or I can put this on this side and cut it off. That's way faster to do it. And for me, it's getting easier. I'm almost there. Yep, this is all out. And then this piece can, can be still be used, but it's that piece that's on here. Yep, there we go. Now don't throw this away because we still can use it. You know me, I use every single piece of it. So if I think I can use a piece, then I'll save it. Okay, this we can't use. So this we can use. So I'm going to save that. And the back we can use too. So save that. And now I'm going to cut all these pieces, but I'm going to do that with my cutting machine. And... So yeah, oh, I love these papers. But first I'm going to cut all that off. So I am perfectly ready to go when I'm starting. Okay, let's see. I choose this for the front. And then I believe this black for the back. And these two for the inside. So let's start on the front first. I like to use, I did use on my tryout, this ribbon. So first I'm going to cut this piece. Now in this kit you get a piece that will fit. I believe it's one meter, I don't, I can't. But I'm going to skip, I'm going to cut this in four pieces. Yeah, so it fits. Yep, it does. Okay. Now, um, we can add... We can... Let's add some double-sided tape. I don't know. Um, perhaps it's going to be wobbly. No, I'm going to add that later. Alright, so what I want is I want a little of that black to be seen on each side. Just a little, you don't have to be that much to be seen. And that means that we can stay in here. So I'm going to cut my papers at five and a half. And front and back. So that is what I'm going to do, five and a half more we don't have be needed. Okay, so that is done. Now, let's see what kind of ink we're going to use. I'm going to use black. So I'm grabbing my black. I think I'm going to have to push that right here because I need that space. Okay. Let's ink those edges. And then I'm going to apply this in the middle. And now you see that this is not long enough. That's why I printed out these stripes. So they will fit. Okay, let's apply. Yep, not long enough. Not quick enough used. Oops. 
Oops, 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 oopsie daisy. All right. Okay, in the meantime, while you'll be seeing me doing this, how was your Christmas holiday? I know this is going to be online in February. Well, at least I'm trying to be ready in February, but I'm doing the best I can. But, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, how was your holiday? I want to know. Please tell me. And I do spoke a few of my Facebook friends, but not all. I like to unfold this, perhaps that's better. Yeah, then I can push this better. But in the meantime, I'm just going further and further and you just can't see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna cut this piece and I cut this pieces in one centimeter. I thought a one four is a bit too large, but if you do like that, then be my guest. You can cut it in every size you like to use it. Okay, next piece. And you can reuse those little pieces, so don't throw these away. You can still use it. Okay, so now we're just going to do this all the way to the bottom to fill up that page. Okay. And now we're going to apply tape. Okay, I have to see where I want to add this. Mm, I think we can do some on here. Perhaps that is still a good idea. But you have to stay straight with your ribbon because if you are wonky, if you're not putting this straight on your ribbon, then your ribbon is not going to be straight either. But it's easier to pull it off. Okay. Now this one is not completely on it, but also can add another piece on. Ooh. Stay as tight as possible. Yucky, 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 yucky. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yes, here well. I am re grabbing it. Yes, I am. Here we go, guys. Peel it off. And then just, um, just to be sure, just a little extra, just a little on that paper. Just a little. I'm gonna swipe this off. It's less possible, but that is just to make sure that your ribbon is going to be staying there. Because, yeah, ribbon and tape. Hmm, okay, that's not always the best combination but we do the best we can 
And if you use a bit of that glue, but swipe it off, because if you make it too wet, then it will be seen. Okay, I'm gonna do one more time this together with you. So I have created one page all the way together. See if I can do this time a bit better. I hope not with my hat in the frame in, in front of the camera, but if I am, then apologize. Peel the first one off. And then go in the next piece. Now, see, this is how it should be. Perfect. <laughs> Peel it off, okay, all the way, please. Should not say that too early. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of glue just to be sure. Swipe that off. I want to see that edge too. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to stretch this out so it's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to apply it. Oh, yes. Here we are. And then we go to the other side. Here we go. That's one piece done. Let's see how easy that went. Let's see? Ta da! Isn't that cool or what? I like it. So cool. Alright, so yeah, let's do the same thing on the back with this one. And then inside here. That's of course the same, but then without a ribbon. Okay, be back soon. <laughs> All right, so I am done with the outside. So I use the same black as the back. And so this is the front and the side. I use the back side of this paper. So I'm still with my four pages, my four pieces. And this is the inside. All right, now before we go to the inside, we are going to make that closure. So what I like to do is to keep these for just a second nicely straight. I'm gonna use a clam to keep these nice, steady. This is what I like, that this is nice, steady, so I can make sure that this is, of course, going this way. Okay, stay there. All right, so let's grab that nice closure. And some bread. Now I was looking for some longer boards, but and I do have longer ones, but they are bulkier. So that is not what put this back inside. So if I put um, a board in here that is thicker then this will not go over. See, because this is going to be like this. So any bulk will not go. So yeah, I'm just, this is a little stiff, but you can work on that. Just 
work it out so this is a little easier in and out and what you also can do is put this in between right here but be gentle be gentle be gentle and just push this a little out see so it's not that flat to this surface right here because we need that space for a little brat to put inside but be gentle be gentle be gentle be gentle to do this now i have enough space that here can be a brat on just wiggle a little work with it go all the way around and then see so if we put these two to each other then this will go gently in and out so yeah this is how it's supposed to be right here okay so now first going to apply a little mark where i want it so I'm just going to place this on here. I hope I'm still in frame. And um, a bit in the middle, not too far away. I think this is the perfect set. Now I'm only making two dots because the other one we can apply that when the first one's on okay so I'm gonna make a hole So that is the base. Now, I noticed, of course, because these brads are a little, um, what are they, short. So it will be not that sturdy. I always like to squeeze those little legs nice to each other. So what I did was um, grab just a leftover piece, uh, let's say, let's grab some black. And I like to cut this in the same, so it will fit in there. So I'm going to cut this piece, and I need another one. And I'm going to make in between these little where the brat is going to be in so that is what i'm gonna fold down and make a little help piece help piece okay that is not a word but <laughs> okay i'm just going to keep going add a little glue inside So what I'm doing right here, and I don't know if I'm going to need a little thicker. No. I think with the glue, a bit, just a bit, a bit more. I'm going to use some extra glue to put this all together. So you have the boards that stay there and you have extra piece with some glue. I think one, I think this is thick enough. Let me try. Yes, this is thick enough. I don't want to come it out. I don't want to come out this piece right here. See, yeah, that is good. 
let's attach that with some glue. What kind of glue? You can use any kind of glue. Um, this one could be. Some of you guys tell me that it's possible. Uh, glossy accents is perfect. Um, but I also like this one for extra sturdiness. So that is the first thing that I'm going to add. I'm going to add some of that glue inside. Oopsie daisy. Had too much. Okay. I'm gonna add that in between. I'm gonna let that dry. necessary but I'm just going to keep this pushing and let that dry all right so I'm gonna make another piece for the other sides we need another one You can also use uh, a piece of chipboard, of course, or whatever piece. Perhaps a 3D foam piece that will always also do the trick. I don't have that. Well, I can use chipboard, but I just want to show you that just paper is good enough. Just have to make it a little thicker. Okay, I think this will do it. Alright, yes. Close these down right away. It keeps going on. Okay, let's push this in here. I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. All right. Yep, I'm gonna wait for just a moment and then I'm just going to apply that on here with the brad and the glue and then the last piece. We're going to attach the last words. Yes. Back in one second. Okay, so now it's dry. So I'm gonna start on the white one. And I'm just going to apply some of this glue. You can use any glue, any glue you like. Doesn't need that much, but I think with a little glue it will be just a bit better. Okay, I'm just gonna add it on that spot. And then I'm gonna go out a boat. And this is the part when it's not handy having long nails, but we can do it. Not moving. Okay, let's grab another one. Push the board in there. Yes, that's that. And I think while this is still nice and wet, I'm going to add that other piece. Let's 
see if that will fit. Yes, it is. Okay, now push nicely. And then go to the other side. And I'm holding my finger on the first board. Because this is small, guys. This is. Grab a flat surface and pushing it as tight as you can into that chipboard. I'm gonna turn this piece so I can add my finger on the next second wet so I can have a push. And then I'm just going to unfold these into the chipboard. And these are small, but that is why I used that extra glue. If any glue is coming underneath, you can swipe that off. All right, so that is the first one. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other one. Oh, this glue. Placing a nice dot on. Place the first one on. Push this for your board. Push this in. And now I like to, oops. Now I like to give another hole in it. Okay, push that other board in and do the same thing. Hold your finger on the first one. And unfold it. Yes, I'm gonna turn this over. Search for your board, pushing it against. And gently open this up and squeeze that in the chipboard. That is that, guys. And then it should be closed. Ta -da! Yep, that's that. Okay, now it's time to go to the inside. Yay. Okay, the next step is um, I'm gonna add some black cardstock in the complete inside area. So this is the first one. Just gonna add this a little shorter. Ooh, I hope I can see that little strip. Okay. Trying if it's still fitting nicely. All the way around. Yes, it is. All right. So what I'm gonna do is first I am going to add some double-sided tape on each spine so your paper is nicely attached in that spine so that don't go anywhere okay I'm gonna do that on every single piece. All three of these spines, because we have three spines. Of course we have three spines. 
in the meantime I'm gonna tell you a bit about my Christmas holiday what did I do in my Christmas holiday you know when my kids and husband uh, not, not my husband <laughs> not married but um, when they are at home I don't craft well not at least upstairs so if we had a day where we have nothing in plans, not need to go everywhere or just when we are all at home and we all having our own um, things to do, then I like to go downstairs, not go downstairs, I am downstairs. <laughs> then I just like to grab uh, a piece what. Uh, need to be done and I always like um, especially for a kit that I do a try out so then I know how much paper I need how far I can get and then for the tutorial it, it will be a bit easier so I can think as long as I please and I'm not uh, with any stress it's just having a nice cup of tea while my uh, partner um, do a nice puzzle on the same table so that is that is nice we all are in the same room and one is watching TV the other one is on his phone and the other one is doing a puzzle and me I'm just doing a little crafting so yeah that is nice I love that um, so I'm still and um, productive <laughs> so that is a bit what we uh, what we did um, on a lazy day. I call it a lazy day. and um, But a nice family day. Doing the things that we love. Here and there we went out shopping. Sometimes we did all together some housekeeping. So yeah, it was very, very, very nice. On um, Christmas Eve we don't ever do something uh, that. But we are not that Catholic or not religion um, so we don't do anything but on the first um, the first Christmas day we I invited my mom and stepdad and his mom and dad and so yeah that's the whole that's the, that, that's the complete family um, he and I we don't have any brothers or sisters so yeah we have a small family so that is what we did. Um, we did a nice gourmet. Um, that's a very common thing here in Holland. It's nice so each one can eat what they like and I don't have to spend so much hours in the kitchen. And um, yeah, so and afterwards it's, it's very fast cleaning up to do, so that's, that's very, very nice. So it was very comfortable, very easy, quiet, and yeah, I love it. I'm going to push right here, so this is going to be nicely, I hope this is going to be not too bulky. I'm going to see if I can fix this. This is the first one. I'm gonna add that black in that groove. See, just pushing it down. And I'm gonna add here this piece. And on our second Christmas day, we did nothing, not a single thing. Just a lazy day. No obligations or anything. Nope. We did nothing. We watched some television. We did some puzzling. Just as I told you before, what we do on a lazy day. This is not going to work. Somehow, this is not going to be attaching at all. I don't know what went wrong. If it's the boat or something but something is not good 
So I'm going to fix that, see what happens. What did I did? That is completely my fault. I, don't, I hope you see that. See this, this bump? So that means that I place that um, paper too loose on it. We can fix that. Just grab a knife and we are going to cut because we still can add some design paper on it. So we are going to cut this loose. I think I need another cut or we can use the scissor. Just another cut. Uh huh. Look what we got. Yep. Let's fix this. Ah! Oh my gosh. I did not. I was too much brabbling. See what happened. I, I didn't hear you shout at me. Okay. This is what happens. I totally forgot to peel this off. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah, you can add double-sided tape on the spine. Mm -hmm. But if you don't peel it off, it does not have any use. <laughs> okay, all right. So first of all, I'm going to add some extra glue on this piece. Okay, Diane. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, now I'm just going to, <laughs> to fix this. Oh gosh, what it's nice working now. <laughs> oh yeah, talk about Christmas. Shut up about Christmas. <laughs> All right, I'm going to add this piece to... Oh my god, I thought, what am I doing wrong here? Oh my goodness. But you saw that already, didn't you? Yes, you did. You uh, you saw that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my goodness, how stupid can someone be? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so that is how you solve this because we are going to put some decoration on here too. So, no worries, no worries at all. See, you still can fold this double, no trouble at all. And just do exactly the same on this piece. See, so that paper is in that groove. Okay, ta da! Nothing worried, nothing, nothing, nothing wrong. Everything can be fixed. And that is the beauty of my tutorials. That's life. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If there is a trouble, I'm just going to fix that live on stage. <laughs> okay. Ta-da! It's been fixed. Okay. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> I am going to the next one. <sighs> next piece of paper. Doing exactly the same thing. Just going to see how much I need to cut off and I want to be straight of course but I still need this piece off that is really a tiny piece and this comes in the middle that's good that is cool dirty cool dirty cool Again, let's play some tape. And tape is good. 
when you peel it off if you need it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. First, I'm going to peel off the spine. Not spine, but the double sided tape. Here we go. Then, peel off. This big piece. Then put some extra glue on. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to overlap this a bit. Gonna see that leaves us a nice inside black oh gosh it would oh. mm -mm -mm -mm. you didn't see that nope you didn't did you oh you did not see that Shit. <laughs> okay give it a nice push gentle pushing this in be gentle and then lift it again up be gentle doing this not pushing too hard and then just fold it over and let's go to the next stage the next one is here Bring it over and fold it in. There we go. Okay, last piece. Last piece of paper. Um, we can cut that little piece off. Too much off nope it's good to go then I'm gonna see how much I can cut off where is that note oh my gosh. that was a very tiny little piece of okay guys last piece and then our cover is done so far so good i'm still being with you together why am i having such long tutorials well, because i'm just with you staying here Nice chatting with you. Nice let you see all my mistakes. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is peeling off. It's peeled off already. Guys, don't forget I am from Holland, guys. Don't forget that. I am from Holland. Sometimes I get a, a reaction about my bad English. But, hey, talk Dutch for a change. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so we are doing the best we can. 
Y L. No, this is not the same height. I did cut that off. What happened here? This is the good one. Is it that wonky? Wait just a second. Why? This is good, but this isn't. Wait just a second. This is a bit off. I don't know why that happened, but for some reason it's off. Oh yeah, you have a lot of scissors for Oh yeah, totally forgot. is now good if it's not I'm just making another one but I think it's good I think it's good is it good just a little higher just a little higher yep okay Here we go, fold it over, yes, now we are good to go, so yeah. Still can do the edges if there is something not completely. Do that while your glue is still wet. Squeeze it down. Do you like it? I like it. Work it guys, work till your glue is dry. We have some tape on it, but your tape is not dried out just yet. So if you see anything that needs to be squeezed a bit more, then just do it work with it yep all right i like it what do you say i like 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 it okay that's that <sighs> okay up to the next level the pages shall we do first oh, no 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 the charm is way a little Hi, thanks for joining me. This awkward, awkward, awkward tutorial, but yep, that's me. <laughs>